All right, good morning, welcome, what is up? I guess it's not probably morning time when you're watching this, unless it is, then good morning. Got another repair video for you today. This is for the K1000. As I was looking at it, I realized that the battery compartment, as well as a lot of the other electronic bits on the camera is severely corroded. So we're gonna make real quick work of cleaning that off. Fortunately, because I had the whole mirror box detached, it was pretty easy to just zoink this out. That's awesome. That's exactly what I wanted to have happen there. Just, I just love everything that's happening in this moment. So things we're gonna need for this, um, I used the old wire here, which presumably is, it looks pretty fried on both ends to be honest. So I just got a new wire, measured it out so it matches. And then we've got the good old poison uh, material stuff. So that'll be good. The basement has very little to no ventilation, so that'll be even better. So basically, I've talked about this before, but I feel like it's worth talking about again. You have to use a special kind of flux here because this is a stainless steel contact. And so the normal flux won't really stick to it or bond to it as easily. <sighs> yeah. Uh, the smell is rancid to say the least, but I think Yeah, no, that's that is just abhorrent. That is a, a terrible scent. Oh Jesus. Okay. Okay, so now basically what we have to do is clean the contact off so there's no corrosion left, and then from there I like to do another little drop. Boop. Then take the flux here, and then just a little dab will do ya. There we go. So good poisonous bonding there. Don't worry, I inhaled all of that. And then we take our, our wire here. You couldn't see most of that that was happening because it was all out of frame. That's fantastic. Right in my eyeballs, that's even better. Jesus fuck. Okay. Whew. We'll work on that. That is, <laughs> that is a thing that needs to be worked on in the basement. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So we got this all connected right there. Look at that, beautiful, love to see it. Um, pretty stoked about it actually. So now what you do is, I'm honestly gonna just kind of wait to put this all back together again because the way that the wire needs to be run through the camera is kind of reliant upon the mirror box being attached and as the mirror box is uh, right here and not where it should be, it's a little bit difficult to do so. But for the sake of explanations or for the sake of, I don't know. Let me, let me get this rod put back in. Son of a bitch. Oh, I just, I love, I love why this is doing this. 
You know what we should do instead of like fastening things into cameras? We should just let gravity take care of it. Took a page out of Malta's book. Okay, so basically the battery compartment sits here. Yeah, as you may know. And then typically the wire runs up through the bottom here. So it doesn't go through this little gap there. It goes over here and then from there up here through that little hole right there. This of course is the flash sink, the hot shoe wire I should say for the flash sink. Uh, and you got these two contacts here in the front as well. But then the wire runs up around here and comes out here to then reach the, stay, uh, the board here. And it is, I think this contact, Right there. Let me let me punch in because I always punch in on post, but I feel like it's probably helpful to punch in now while I can. So the power goes to this contact here. Most K1000 boards are the same, so it should always be this contact, but obviously it would be sitting in the camera, so that's the only real difference. And then the gray uh, wire that also goes through a hole goes right up here to the hot shoe contact. That's that's pretty much it. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much the, the basics of that. I honestly thought that would take a little bit longer, so I'm stoked that I got that on the first try. Basically, what all I did, I'm gonna walk through it again, I used this poison stuff to clear out the contact because there was a lot of mold or uh, buildup, corrosion buildup. So I used that to clean off the contact and then I used a little bit more to attach some of this, uh, just the you know, solder that I use. And then with the use of the old wire here, I cut out a piece of new wire using my handy dandy wire strippers. And then attached to the new contact that I created and then have that to run through the camera. So that's pretty much it. Um, in terms of wire cutting, I always go for more first because it's easier to crimp it down than it is to add more wire. So definitely go a little bit, more is, more is good in this situation. But most of the time I say less is more. I would say in terms of wires, use more first and then you can cut down as needed. That's pretty much it. I'm going to put the rest of this back together. I already got the advance column kind of reattached, so it should be pretty easy to, should be, probably will be, but it should be. Um, yeah, that is it for now. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one.